Okay, this video is just a quick highlight on how to reduce the size of images. This is very useful on your websites or if you're working with your ePortfolio. So for instance, I have uh, some images in here that I've just put aside. And you notice the size of these are 1.2, 1.3 megabytes. And these are way too big for what we need to go online. So if you want to resize these, and if you have, say, a PC, Windows site, there's many uh, options online you can use. Uh, so, for example, if we just look over here, there's Image Resize, which is a download program that's free that will work on your machine. Or, if you prefer, you can just use this website, where all you do here is just click on the Choose, and it will take it to you where you need to go to. So, I go to the Images, I can select the image, like I've done there, and then basically, once I've selected it, I just open that image up, at the bottom here. It uploads and I say what size do I want that to be so I can type in dimensions and then I resize once it's resized you'll see the image it will come up and all you have to do is download that image uh, onto your computer just by clicking as it says here on the download right click and then save link as and then you can download that resize picture on your desktop and of course now it will be substantially smaller than the previous one. And if we compare those, here's our new one, and compare it to our old one, you can see 83 megabytes. And that's pretty ample size for most things you want to show in any sort of website. And of course you can make the dimensions slightly bigger, 600 if you need to, but that's all that you need if you want to just capture an idea of that image. So that's how you can do it using a website. If however you um, have a, a Mac computer, they have a built-in uh, resizer for you on preview. So I open up this uh, folder here of the images and I've got both of these images. And what's nice about this is I can do two at the same time. If I open that up in the preview option, this one here, built-in software to your computer, it ends up, it gives you both of those uh, files as you can see, but also I'll be able to, as you can see, you can see both of these images down the side of the screen and that allows you to actually affect both. So if I was to click on both of them like this, select them, and then I go up to these tools at the top and say adjust size, I can actually tell it either by percentage or by pixels like I did in the previous one, I can give it a size that I would like it to be. So in this case the width of 400. It then will resize both those images and so let's say we'll make it 600 this time just for fun and go OK. It then resizes them and if you unlock it, it will actually, when you save, it will replace the original ones or if you want to, you can duplicate. So then when I go back into my file, you see how they've been resized, these images. So now, just like before, they've really dropped down in size. But when I open them up, they're actually good enough for what I want to do on, site, on a website or on an ePortfolio. Original size, as you can see, was 1.2, and now it's dropped down to 47 kilobytes. So that's 1,200 kilobytes down to 47. So resizing will really save you memory space, and that's the idea when you upload to anything on the web. Okay, there you go.